it's David and Brian from VM Blog, and we're here in San Diego. And we're covering the KubeCon uh, Cloud Native 2019 conference, and here's some of the highlights from the show. We're here at KubeCon 2019 in San Diego, and we're visiting Divi Cloud. Um, can you tell me a little bit about Divi Cloud and what you're showing here at KubeCon? Yes, uh, Divi Cloud. We are a security and compliance uh, solution provider that looks at your cloud resources running either on uh, Google, Azure, AWS, Kubernetes, um, and multitude of other cloud providers, where it gives you compliance about the resources that's running on the cloud. And on top of compliance, we provide context um, specific to uh, Kubernetes specifically. If you have uh, clusters that are running on GKE, uh, Azure, AWS, or even native clusters running in these environments. So um, at a high level, that's what we provide. Um, we also offer uh, out-of-the-box compliance packs that looks at you know areas such as uh, GDPR, HIPAA, um, ISO 27001, uh, and CIS specific uh, packs uh, that's uh, specific to the cloud. So that just gives you visibility across a uh, multitude of security controls. And also we can apply filters on top of it to just provide uh, ad advanced visibility. And how, how do you fit into the Kubernetes ecosystem? You know, what problems do you solve? Yes, so uh, with specific to Kubernetes, we have what's called Kubernetes with context. And what that pretty much means is um, if you have Kubernetes clusters deployed in your uh, cloud environments, whether if it's AWS, Google, or Azure, or running natively, not only will you give us, uh, it will give you visibility on your clusters itself, but the uh, cloud provider is running on top of. So for instance, it's just the data um, that we're looking at. It will just give you a holistic approach to do you have any um, uh, security controls that might be in violation across the nodes and the pods and the services and the deployments that it's running on. So that holistic approach to not just Kubernetes, but also the cloud provider that it's, it's being deployed on. And did you have any uh, announcements or anything new that you've uh, talked about here at the show? Yes, so we are, uh, this Kubernetes with context is what we're officially launching here at KubeCon. Uh, we have, uh, it's, it is, uh, it, it, it's a true beta initiative that we're looking at. So we're trying to get feedback and, and just kind of like a crowd approach to, does this make sense? Um, is this something that, uh, that a lot of our, uh, the crowd, are they seeing a lot of value? And overall, we've gotten really positive responses that they are able to not only look at your environments uh, within Kubernetes, but also the clouds itself. Um, on top of that, we're also going to have a bigger presence at the upcoming AWS conference, um, reInvents, which is happening the first week of December in Las Vegas. So please definitely check us out. We're going to be making a lot of announcements about uh, not only AWS services we support, but also our Kubernetes uh, enhancements uh, specific to EKS. So check us out. Great. And would it be possible for us to take a look at the product, maybe get a demo? Absolutely, yeah. So we're more than happy to do that here. So what are we going to take a look at? So what, what we're going to do here is give you a quick demo about Divi Cloud itself and some of the key areas around visibility, automation, and specific to uh, Kubernetes with context. And uh, we'll just give you a high level overview of how that looks like here. Great. So within Divi Cloud, here's the main dashboard. And the first things first that we recommend all of our users to come through is to add a specific cloud account. Within Divi Cloud, we support a multitude of clouds across Azure, AWS, Google, and uh, quite a few others, uh, like Alibaba, Kubernetes. Um, we support uh, specific Gov clouds as well, um, in parallel to OpenStack, uh, Rackspace, and others. So once you've added uh, a cloud account within Divi, um, under the clouds page here is where you can get a, a quick visibility around how uh, your accounts are managed. And it could show you the different cloud uh, clouds that we support. And one of the biggest differentiators that Divi Cloud has, it gives you a true single pane of glass about uh, what cloud accounts that Divi Cloud can manage. And here, a key area to look at is what we call resource counts. And within this view, we'll just kind of give you a high level uh, overview of all the total resources that Divi Cloud can manage. A lot of this data that gets pulled into our environment is through what's called a harvesting strategy. And all of this is done through API calls. So it doesn't mean that we're installing any agents or any sidecars um, uh, on the cloud itself. 
Uh, all it is is just uh, we um, you add the cloud accounts, and across the infrastructure, the wrappers that we tie around it is, uh, is pretty much uh, through all APIs. Um, next to here, we offer what's called a visibility view under resources. So across the areas of compute, container, storage, network, and identity, we just pretty much give you an incremental view about everything that's being managed within the cloud itself. So for instance, if you click on an instance here, um, it will give you a, a high-level view of everything that might be running across all your different cloud providers, whether, again, if it's AWS, um, Google, or whatever um, cloud that's being managed. And again, the, the, the great value is the visibility that we offer um, as a single plane in single pane and if you hover over any of the instances uh, that we currently have it will give you an overview of all the services that are supported by that specific instance. In regards to Kubernetes um, we do have a view specific to containers that will give you um, visibility across these 10 resource types and another really cool feature that we've just recently um, added is around container vulnerability. So if you have any image repositories that might be running in an ECO or GCR or any image repository of your choice, um, whether if it's public or private, we will give you um, a high-level overview of the vulnerabilities that it offers. So whether if they're critical, high, medium, low, um, and it will just give you a, a list of what the CVEs that are being uh, violated against that specific repository. As of now, a lot of this is directly from the repository itself uh, through API calls. So uh, for now, we're just giving it a visibility and how that works. Uh, next, if we dive into the security area, so once you've identified um, the resources and the visibility, visibility, we offer close to uh, 300 uh, compliance checks, which are called insights. And through here, this is where you can see um, against these insights what are which resources are impacted. So, for instance, if you look at what's a storage container that's exposing access to the world, it will give you four out of 247 that are in violation. So, if you click on them, it will address the specific cloud account where the issue might be happening and the impacted resources as well. And here on the right, it will just give you a quick overview specific to that insight, um, any remediation actions, or uh, what we called um, uh, a bot factory, which is where you can actually go in and create bots to apply some kind of a remediation against these uh, insights that might be in violation. In parallel to the, the checks, we offer also out-of-the-box compliance facts um, that is specific to industry standards like HIPAA, PCI, uh, CIS uh, specific to the cloud providers like GCP, Azure, Kubernetes. Uh, so a lot of these um, these are pre-built with the with the inside checks that we offer, and it's a similar view uh, as earlier that we just kind of give you a high-level debrief on what that insight is, the impact of resources, and the severity level, uh, and how it could be. Uh, you might be looking at it from that point of view. And one final thing in regards to the uh, violations and the security insights that we provide are what's called filters. And filters are pretty much um, added on visibility that you can add to your insights. And as of right now, we offer close to a thousand filter checks. And as, as we have uh, new version updates and releases, which we target um, every six to eight weeks, it will kind of give you a list of all the new filters that are getting applied to, to each major release. Next. Now that we've kind of given you an overview about the visibility and some of the violations that occur, what, what, what are you going to do with it? So what we offer is what is called Bot Factory. This is where you can actually apply some remediation and uh, apply some conditions across this area. So if we're looking at the specific bot that's exposing SSH to the world, uh, what it does is you uh, first define a specific resource type where this bot can be applied against, and then you select what cloud provider that you want to apply the specific bot for. In this scenario, we'll apply to all of our cloud accounts that's currently being managed by Divi Cloud. And then next, you will go into what's called conditions. So this pretty much means uh, what instances, uh, what condition do you want to apply to address a specific remediation action against. So we'll look at uh, any instances that are exposing public um, SSH to the world. And then finally, you want to look at what actions can you can you actually apply to those insights. So for instance here, we want to mark uh, this resource non-compliant. So anywhere you have any SSH uh, data that gets captured and is publicly available, um, ideally through the spot you can mark that resource non-compliant because for whatever reason, a uh, security group uh, within your organization might say that that's just not an industry standard that we agree against. And then on top of that, there's quite a few that we offer out of the box. If you want to enable any notifications, whether it's a Slack message, an email, 
um, or even just kind of notifying the owners you're more than uh, capable of doing that. And then finally, the run options is pretty much how you can uh, schedule these bots, whether if it's on demand or through a uh, reoccurring uh, schedule. It's completely up to the user's discretion. And then uh, finally, um, here on the main page here, you can see the state, um, if it's running or not, what's the latest status, and then also if any of the bots are enabled, what would be the, the scheduled run time uh, for, the, for these areas. So again, the, the, the big differentiator that we want to talk about is not only are we giving you visibility across your product, Accounts. We're also giving you details about some of the violations that might happen, but you're you're able to apply actions to remediate a lot of those uh, those compliance violations that might get captured. And all of this can be automated, um, or you can schedule it. Uh, so it's it's completely up to our, our users, and uh, and we offer a lot of extensibility. We offer a lot of customizations to every uh, customer's environment because every customer is going to be unique with what cloud services they're running in, running in their in their environment, whether it's Google, Azure, uh, or AWS, or even Kubernetes. So, uh, so we welcome you to give it a try. We offer a 30-day trial of our solution. Uh, we, uh, we have a dedicated uh, sales and uh, solution engineers that can help you stand up this environment and also just kind of give you a hands-on uh, approach to customizing Divi Cloud to how you might be running, it, uh, running in your group. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VMblog. Yes, thank you so much.